Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the stars above. And as you can see, I decided not to start over again. Those of you that watched the last episode, it gave me a lot to think about. There was a lot of new things to explore, and I debated whether or not I just wanted to start the whole entire Let's Play over again. And to be honest with you, I really don't feel like it, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I mean, we're not really all that far into the mod. We just really got into hard mode, and we haven't really done anything. It's been a lot of episodes already. By a lot, I mean, like, like one, <laughs> maybe? I collected the stuff to fight Queen Slime, and I've definitely got at least one summon for each of the mech bosses, and I don't know if I have any maps for the pirates. No, I do not. Well, generally, they show up on their own. I'm actually kind of surprised they haven't yet. But that'll all come with due time, or in due time, I guess would be the correct way to say that. For right now, what we're doing is we're going to do a little bit of exploring. Uh, since I'm not going to start over, we're just going to stay the course. We're going to use our teleportator over here, our Stelaglyph thingamadoodle over here that I have upgraded. As you can see, I got a lot more of the tier two foci. I've upgraded them all since I was able to using the power of uh, lots and lots of money because the tier two foci take gold and I added a few to this. So th this right here, I think eh, this is like a platinum and 20 gold right here just to make these. So that's uh, it's a little pricey. So even though I'm a little overgeared for this right now, don't say I don't work hard, okay? I said in strive, all right? The, the hustle culture, e even in Terraria, is very strong, okay? I grinded this out using the power of my mob farm. And by the way, there is something that I have been neglecting that I realize. I need to go and take a look-see. Also, look at the, uh, the fleet of slimes flying in the background. Also, I changed the background, by the way. I was messing around with the world globes there. Let's, uh, go down here. I got something I gotta look over here, because I have had access to the Stellar Nova the whole time now, and I don't think I've used it a single time. So, uh, we need to get about that business right there. I would like to see what that power is, so we're gonna activate the War Cry here. This seems like a relatively good place to do this. And we're going to commence with the death and try to build up that bar up there. It's gonna take a while. But we'll get there, nonetheless. It, it'll happen eventually. As you can see, I take very, very little damage because I've got so much, so much defense. I mean, look at this. I am an unstoppable monster here. I cannot be beat. Look at that. Even the mimics, they can't do any damage to me at all. Speaking of, there's another mimic down there. Just stand right down here into the lava pit and uh, we'll get to work. Very slowly but surely, it will build up eventually. At least I hope it will. It's taken a while. Give me a minute here and whenever the bar is filled up, we can utilize this power to see what all it does. All right, there we go. It's finally powered up. Let's get a nice bit of enemies here centered in the middle. Come on, teleport you down inside of it here. Get all the monsters that we can get in here. There we go. They're all gonna die anyway. All right, whatever. Let's just use it. Oh, boy. There's the voice acting, I guess, right there. Look at that. That was so cool. She actually did something other than make jokes and, and call her commentary about my performance. All right, I think I've had quite about enough of this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and disable that. We're gonna go back up to the top here. Um, hello, nurse. How you doing, Helen? She almost died, believe it or not. Uh, she was being chased by a wraith. Had to put that down quick, fast, and in a hurry. Alrighty, now that that's dealt with, the next order of business that I would like to take care of is I want to do some exploring. I want to go and actually see where all this stellaglyph can take us. So in terms of places that I can go... There are a lot of different places still that only require a tier one Stelaglyph. I can go to Mining Station Ares. It's another one. It's, I think, the one that's next up in difficulty level uh, with the Cygnus Asteroid Field. I think that's the easiest one. Um, and then I think that is the last of the tier one places. Some of these I just cannot transport to yet, either because I don't have a strong enough Stelaglyph or... Uh, it's just flouted impossible, like Antlia, Antlia here, or whatever it's called. Antlia, Antlion. So we're gonna go to Mining Station Ares right now. We're gonna take a looky-loo, look-see here, and see what all we can find. Okay, so I'm noticing immediately I'm being attacked by a uh, star degrade. Um, alien Coral. I actually have one of these. The relatively quick drop rate. Um, I'm not exactly sure if they are or not, but I got them pretty quickly. Pretty nice. Uh, if you don't use your Stellar Array at all, you get 15% increased damage for it being completely and totally unused. Each point that you have available, that is. So I think altogether that's five. I remember it makes the uh, Carlin Truce over here go from doing, what, 265 all the way to like, I think it's like almost 400 damage. So it's, it's definitely worthwhile if you're not a fan of using it. Or just get a flat 40 defense with the whole thing full, which I think is just pretty neat. So here we are back at this again. 
Um, I'm going to swap the wings out because I remembered that I cannot use them. I must have the thruster boots. Once again, the music is very, very quiet here. Probably gonna have to keep turning that up. Even I can barely hear it. So what do we got here? This place looks relatively beat up. Never would have uh, thought of cobwebs in space. Space spiders. Interesting. Maybe I, uh, th well, there's other accessories that I could bring. I do have the, uh, frog leg stuff, because you can get all that from fishing pretty quickly. And there's the bundle of balloons. And all that's pretty much pre-boss, so, I mean, you can get yourself a lot of mobility here. I mean, technically, the Terra Spark boots are pretty much pre-boss, too, if you're crafty enough. You can get yourself a ridiculous amount of mobility in this game before even beating the King Slime. So, technically, all of that stuff is valid if you're really having trouble getting around. I mean, but I think just with a hook and maybe some basic rocket boots, you might be able to pull that off. Right now, I don't think you'd have access to them, but you could definitely get yourself a lot of hops if you really wanted to, that's for sure. And it looks like this has pretty much given me just about the same stuff as the Asteroid Field. Oh, we've got Got some uh, invisible blocks there blocking my way. No pun intended. Blocking my path. <laughs> how do I? How do I do it? How do I do it? Somebody stop me! I'm out of control with the jokes. It's kind of hard to navigate through, to be honest with you. Got to kind of find a uh, little secret hidden paths here to try to get through everything. And I wonder what happened to this place. My, uh, I don't think this. Uh, I was gonna say my star fair really doesn't have anything to say about this place. I was kind of surprised. Not much to discuss. About the old mining station here. That's okay. We'll get our way around eventually. Remember, Yo uh, good old Yojimba had lots and lots to say about uh, massive exposition dump, to be honest with you. Good old-fashioned RPG style. Here's a really long conversation about the entire backstory of the universe. Get comfortable. It's gonna take a while. That's okay, though. We like story, don't we? Hopefully my voice doesn't suffer so much this time because I won't have to read ridiculous amounts of things. Okay, it looks like I got about 99% of the stuff here. It looks like uh, that's pretty much it. Don't really see any other secret places that I could go. Unfortunately, no Yojimba here popping in to give me another uh, lore exposition dump here. Ah, what was that? Uh, is that black slime falling from high orbit? Yes, it was. Even in space, there's slimes. I wonder how I could get to if I could really get anywhere. Ah, must be like team blocks here. Invisible or something. We're out of bounds! Like I said, though, probably weren't meant to have the, uh, access to this ability to fly. Though, however, you could definitely manipulate this from, uh, just hooking yourself up there. Okay, well, that's this one done. Time to head on back. I don't see anybody here to chat with us. I don't know if I've been here long enough. Maybe I need to increase mob spawn rate to get some stuff to show up, but it looks like we're dealing with about the same. A good handful of prismatic cores, and thus far, I have not seen them drop from anything else. So I think there's probably a pretty good chance that the only places you can get them is from those little subworlds now. So if you want to craft all, like, uh, 10 million of these different light pets and everything down here, you got your work cut out for you. So many of them are references that I just, I don't, I don't get it. Blade Wolf? Sounds familiar. I'm pretty sure that's a Metal Gear thing. Cat's Hat? Is that, like, Cat in the Hat? I don't know. Digital Monster? Is that, like, Digimon? Dusty Cartridge, Hunted Duck and Dog. I'm pretty sure, what is that, Duck Hunt? The rest of it, I, I don't, like, there's there's so much here that I've never heard of any of these before in my life. I'm, I'm guess I think the Futuristic Spectre is a Destiny thing? I don't really know. I'm gonna be honest with you. So many of these things are references in this mod, and they are just gonna keep flying right over my head, because I have no idea what any of them mean, so they're lost on me. I'm very sorry for those of you that see them. Like, there was a, another one. What, 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 what was that, that summon that we got in the last video? What was the name of that thing? The, uh, prototype or whatever it's called? Where are you at here? There it is. Pod042? What did I hear that was a, uh, uh, near reference? I have no idea what that is. I've never heard of that before in my life. Does that, does that make me, uh, does that make me bad? I, I don't know. But yeah, I just can't get over the sheer amount of references in these mods that just go straight over my head because I've never heard of half of the stuff before in my life. And I'm gonna tell you what, I'm probably not gonna go digging into it either. All right, now that that's done, we have a little bit of explorinating that I still want to do. So we've crossed the asteroid field and the mining station off the list. Now, I think that's the last of the Tier 1 Stelaglyph locations. So the only ones that are left are Tier 2. And my god, there's a lot of them. So I guess we'll just keep going up in difficulty here. Uh, Pixis. This is an interesting sounding one. A man-made structure, both rudimentary and stunningly innovative. Threat level is NA and tier 2 Stelagoth required for transit, but there's no resources to speak of, at least known anyway. So maybe we might want to go here first. I'm thinking. Ah, Pixis. Hanford Station. Oh, wow. Oh, and it's, uh, it's got the music. A village soundtrack here. Oh, hello! Uh, you a cat girl? Yeah, you are. You something like that. Interesting. I see. This far from the heart, people are no stranger to a lack of courtesy. Barging into one's home like so. 
Am I correct? Sorry, we would have knocked, but to be honest, we thought this place was, uh, abandoned. Truly? No matter. I am nothing if not the forgiving sort, I think. Wait, forget that last bit. <clears throat> Friendly faces scant wander this far, so offering hospitality is the least I can do. To a starfarer as well. My name is G Oh, God. <laughs> Garidini. Garidini? Gar- we're gonna call her Gary. In truth, automatons prove not the most capable of conversationalists. Where have I heard that before? Sounds kind of familiar. I would not be opposed to your visits. In fact, I would petition your aid for a certain matter. Hmm, would you now? Yep, done deal, right? Um, sure. I hesitate to say it, but she's really cute, and we simply have to help her out. Okay, well, sure. Why not? Did you say something? No, in that case, I would appreciate it if you would allow me to analyze your equipment and weapons you've cracked. Uh, crapped. Um, well, about that. A little overprepared for this situation. I haven't had occasion to learn about recent advancements, owing in no small part to the ardor. If I were to get a glimpse, it would be quite the boon. To make this worth your time, I'll craft some stellar foci for you after your visit. A bit of a strange ask, but it shouldn't be too difficult. Getting some stellar foci without having to make them ourselves would be very helpful. Yeah, boy, wouldn't they? Be just the so helpful. Wonderful! Let us hope this relationship is a fruitful one. I love fruit! Okay! Oh, that wasn't as bad this time. Uh, we have a Defender Forge, so I can actually, uh, use... You know, first time in my life, I think I've ever seen one of these placed before. Normally, it's just, uh, seen in the inventory of the Tavern Keep, and that's about as far as I go with it. We make a bunch of steampunk-type stuff here, too. Interesting, she wants to talk as well. Um, uh, you know what? Uh, I would love to have a chat with you, but I gotta tell you the truth. Uh, it's really important right now. I just kinda need to, uh, totally ransack your base. It's, it's, it's a, it's a thing I do. It's like, call it a quirk if you want. It's just, it's just something that I do, okay? It's just, it's just something I do. What's this? Is this lava? Is it painless lava? Lava that doesn't hurt? Interesting. Oh, does this lava not hurt? Why can't I not make this hurt myself? Interesting. So the lava doesn't hurt. Neat. All right, what do you got to say? From my hypothesis, there's a type of slime that can apparently negate the effects of poison when equipped. Could you hopefully locate one of these artifacts for me? Apologies in advance for the trouble. Slime that negates poison? You talking about a bezoar? Give me one minute. I know exactly where to find one of those. Oh, honey! I never would have thought of that as a slime, though. All right, we got our bezoar. I'm gonna assume that that's what she wants. I don't really know if there's any way that I could tell in particular, but we'll find out. Hello. Oh, yes, that's exactly what she wanted. Your timely arrival is much appreciated. It's exactly what I wanted. I bequeathed a pouch containing a stellar foci. I have a regrettable habit of forgetting to label my creation, so this must do. Oh, totally random. I've yet to analyze the data you've brought me, so I have to wait a little bit. Perhaps return anon. Once progress has been made, five minutes of your time scale should suffice. Um, um, did I mention I can control space and time? I'm totally capable of that. Now nah, I think it's gonna make it work that way. So I've got the resisting focus. Interesting. So at the very least, I can upgrade it. So I'm guessing the more of these I turn in, the better. And I actually get to keep the bezoar. Okay. Um, well, I don't need it, so you can have it. Enjoy. Okay, well, is that about it, though, for you? Do you not have anything else to, uh, to share with me? Nope, it's just bottomless void over here. Okay, cool. Alrighty, well, back we go, then. Always nice to chat with Gary. Well, that was relatively brief. Uh, why don't we go and take a look at another one? So that's done. We've got the asteroid field, mining station. We've seen Pixis. We've met Gary. So this, the threat level of the last place I went to was D+. So, does that- is there like a, a C minus? There is, but transit is impossible at this time. So, just a C then, eh? Excuse me, I have no idea what that was, I just saw chunks flying. Oh wait, hang on a second, I was gonna say. I think I know why. Okay, well, if I can't do C minus, how's about just a- just a C? Kalium. This appears to be the next location here. Unknown what sapped this planet of life, but it exists now as a shell of its former self. A chalky, white, lonely world. Only a small portion of the surface is traversable. The rest crumbles at any touch. Sounds like falling might be horribly, uh, horribly painful there. So you know what? Since I can't use my wings, I am gonna go and grab some mobility accessories and see if that doesn't help me out a little bit. Like I said, I got the frog gear and I've got a bundle of balloons. So I've got access to both of these. These are both pre-boss, very easy to acquire stuff. Frog gear, something I've never really used before. So we'll throw it on and uh, we will head to Kalem. We've made it. This planet is strange. The surface has been wiped clean. What happened? Ah, I don't know. That's a, uh, soulless. Interesting. Inert shard. Fragment of the past. Devoid of both mana and hue alike. Obtained on a planet bleached white. Can be used to craft a unique accessory. Now, these guys actually, uh, got a decent chunk of health there. Crystallized absence. 
Max HP is reduced by 300, defense reduced by 20, but damage is doubled. Only active when unmodified max HP is 400 or higher. Only one Stargazer Relic can be equipped at a time. So it's sort of like the uh, Alien Coral I got, but you actually have to kind of work for it a little bit. Interesting. Ah, God. But these guys are definitely a little bit beefier. It's taken more than one hit to kill them. I know this weapon is overpowered, and the equipment I've got is pretty, pretty tough, but that's okay, though. We'll chop our way through everything. Since this is Tier 2, and that stuff is crafted, I believe, out of the... Uh, Eater of world stuff, or at least the world evil type stuff, I think I would have been using... I'm not sure what weapon I would have had. All right, what do we got here? We got a giant white structure. Everything really does have that uh, colorless sort of tone here. Looks very monochrome. It sounds like there is a different soundtrack playing in the background. That's interesting. How many of these do I need, actually? 12? Oh, that should be easy enough to get. So there's some traps here. A little parkour. Gotta watch out for the spikes. It's kind of hard to tell. They do blend in really well whenever they're colored like this. All right, let's just keep climbing up. I'm going to assume that this is the majority of where the uh, content is going to be. There is this prismatic core. I'm going to assume that the chests are going to become a lot harder to find as we progress. Stellar Nova is ready. It's kind of wasted right now, wouldn't it be? Wouldn't have much of a point to it. Ow, God, oh, God, so horribly painful. Oh, my God. This is totally how this was meant to be explored, I swear. Ow. Oh, what do we got here? A little tiny hole in the wall. Does it actually go anywhere, or is this just the, the block not finished here? Can I go in? No, I cannot. Okay. Guess we're not going that way. What do we got down here? Bottomless holes. It's okay. I've got slow fall there. I've taken care of it. So this place was bleached white, drained of all mana, and all that's left are soulless, uh, ghost, ghastly creatures here. Definitely looks like having double jump would be very valuable here, for sure. Might throw on the uh, frog gear in place of the wings. That seems to uh, help a lot. Also helps with fall damage, so... I think at this point, you would definitely have rocket boots, I'm sure. What is this? Oh, I can actually get through there? That is weird looking. I do still have the volume of the music turned up, so hopefully you guys can hear it. Because it's pretty nice. I'm not sure if it's custom soundtrack or if it's from something else. If it is, uh, then uh, in that case, I hope you can't hear it. Because if you can hear it, so can YouTube's automated copyright system. That'd be uncomfortable. What do we got here? Oh, we've got some chests. Got a frozen chest. Interesting. A little bit of light here. We've got a gravestone. Uh, it says nothing. Ball man was here. Oh, I just realized what this was right here. It's an actual, like, it's a tree. It is a completely drained tree. Dead center in the middle here. So now I gotta try to navigate my way back. Unfortunately, can't use the rod of discord. That would make this way too easy. I'm still kind of curious if these things actually are, like, important for anything. Like, I'm, sh I'm wondering if you're actually able to teleport in between, because they seem kind of suspiciously placed, I'm not gonna lie. Like, there's a little hole in the wall, and then there's that statue. Maybe that's just a coincidence, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm reading a little bit too far into it here. Been getting star bounty, so my brain's been like, oh, I can turn myself into a little ball and roll in there. Wait, no, I can't. This is a completely different game. All right, I think we are just about back out at the entrance here. Can't really go any farther. Can I get inside the tree? No, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. Or I can get down far a little bit in there. I hope I can actually get out. If not, this could be awkward. Ah, we're having some issues. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, let me out. Okay, well, it looks like I've got this building explored here pretty thoroughly. Am I able to climb up the top of it, perhaps? Maybe it'll actually let me get up here. It's probably going to be blocked, though, I would imagine. Unless there's actually something up here they want you to see. I mean, there's could, could be. What's the worst thing that could happen? Ah! Huh? Oh. Okay. That's different. How long do you go for? Do you just not stop? Oh. Invisible blocks. Okay. Anything down here? Secrets. Unless that this is another thing that they didn't think, Oh, yeah, you can't get through here. Oh, but I can. Ball man breaks everything. <laughs> okay, well, let's go to the left instead, then. Ah, God, okay. We've got some uh, kind of pillars here, or monoliths, perhaps. Doesn't really look like very much of anything. I think that's the point, though. Ouch. And another one. Ah, we're gonna disturb the graves, too. Ball man was here, too. Looks like a little wall up here, but I don't know if we can climb up it, though I kinda am curious to try. Oh, and we've hit a wall. Okay, so that's it, then. There's really nothing else to this place. Definitely a lot to explore, for sure. Um, it's a very unique area. I like it. It's cool. Um, the color is, is, um, is different. I don't think I've, uh, seen quite this much white used in a build before. Hmm. That's okay, though. Uh, it looks it looks good. It looks good, and I like it. Very unique. All right, so we pretty much explored that. I don't know if there's anything keeping track of the progress. We've got enough of those shards. Where is the accessory at? 
Okay, Crystallized Absence. Reduces HP and defense, but damage is doubled. Doubled. Well, that doesn't really hurt me all that much at this point. I mean, that might be rough now, but I still have a lot of defense, though. It's a shame I can't equip them both at the same time. My god, that is a lot of damage. I mean, that's pretty much the amount of damage that I could do with this thing if I uh, disable all my Stellar Array points. Shame I can't equip more than one at a time. Oh, well. Okay, well, that was cool. That was really unique and interesting. Kind of curious to see if... Uh, Garid Garididine or whatever. You could look. Okay, so do you want another one? You also you want me to give you another Bezor? Okay. Okay. So nothing's really changed there. Okay. Well, I guess this is that renewable resource of uh, Stellar Foci that they told me that I needed to get. Well, that makes me feel real good about all the stuff I've spent on everything else. That's that's really really nice. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave the Bezor there if she's going to keep asking for the same stuff. And there is a lot of stuff left, I think. I'm fairly certain that there are many, many, many more planets that we can go to. So we got Pixis done. Asteroid field's good. Mining station's good. Kalum is good. So it looks like C plus for Scorpius and Serpens. And Corvus I can go to, but that looks like that's supposed to take place after these two. And then after that, I think that's pretty much it in terms of planets. And then we'll be all caught up because we'll have all the Tier 2 places done after these three right here. But that is a lot of exploration at this time, so I think I'm gonna call it an episode here. I don't know how long we've really been recording for. Let me fix my UI there real quick. It still messes it up, but it seems like when I go back, it fixes it again. So it's, it's, it's weird, but I don't know. Maybe something that they'll work out later on down the line. But yeah, for right now, I'm not sure how long I've been recording for, so we are just gonna call it an episode here, and then we are going to progress with more exploration in the next episode, which I might just record real quick. Might not be a bad idea, just to get that stuff moving on. And I think, like I said, after those planets are done, we are back on track and all caught up. So I hope you guys are enjoying, at least exploring around, the new Stars Above subworlds. I don't think I've seen quite so many in one mod before. This Let's Play is definitely uh, filled to the brim with them between it and Remnants. But like I said, enough rambling. I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.